Hey, what's up, YouTube? So here's a cool new mnemonic so that you'll never have to learn the uh, carpal bones again. Um, it's going to tell you basically the names and the relationship between these bones um, using this visual mnemonic. Um, so I have this picture up here, and we're going to go over that in a second to show um, how useful the drawing is. But let me just go over the drawing real quick. Um, so maybe the most famous bone in the wrist, because it's central, kind of holding all of them together, you can see it here, is the capitate bone. And I've represented that as the captain of this boat. And um, the captain is holding his hook, so this is basically captain hook. Um, the hook representing the hamate bone, which is just, I guess, um, medial to it. So hamate bone, hamate meaning hook. And it also works out because the hamate has a, a so-called hamular hook to it. Um, so the cap capitate bone represented by the captain and the hamate bone represented by the hook. Another one is um, often known by students is the um, scaphoid bone um, means boat because it's shaped like a boat. You can see it there. It's also called, I guess, the navicular bone um, because of its shape. I guess, uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a boat. I guess that's right. So here you can see he's on a boat. He's on his um, navicular vessel. Um, and um, that, of course, representing the scaphoid or navicular bone. Um, then we also have the lunate bone, which, of course, is represented by the loon or the luna or the moon. So here's the lunate bone in the, in the picture. And then just medial to that, we have the triquetral bone represented by these three stars. And on top of the triquetral, we have the fusiform bone um, represented by this green pea-like planet um, right in the middle of those um, three triquetral stars. Um, there's two more. So I have the trapezoid bone represented by this trapezoid-shaped hat. And then I have a trapezium hanging off the back of the boat represented or I have a trapeze representing the trapezium bone. And then lastly, I put a well in just to represent a uh, the thumb so we could have some orientation to this drawing so we don't get backwards and think that the lunate is maybe the articular um, bone for the thumb um, um, bones. Rather, it's the trapezium bone that is the articulation uh, for the first metacarpal. Um, so, in the story, just picture that maybe his crew threw him um, onto this little um, boat, and as a last minute joke, they threw this sign on the back that says trap, and it's sort of like a trapeze um, hanging off the back, so that representing the trapezium. So now looking at the actual bones, you can see the story replayed in your mind. So you can see the captain here, he's standing on this navicular boat, He's looking back towards this well represented by the representing the first metacarpal. His trapezium sign is hanging sadly over the back, and his trapezoid hat looking over towards that well, metacarpal well, first metacarpal well. Furthermore, in the front of the boat, here's the luna or the loon or the moon or the lunate bone sitting there on the on the horizon of the ocean. And then we have the triquetral stars up here and the fusiform planet um, being a navigation device the captain uses to ride the seas of this turbulent wrist. Um, so that tells you basically the orientation and the names of these bones with respect to each other. However, um, how about the orientations with respect to the wrist? Um, so one thing to note is I've had to rotate this picture a little bit from what you maybe normally see it in order to give it a spatial sense to it. Um, you can remember the articulation with the radius um, because those are the two things that are really articulating with the ocean here. Um, that's that being the um, moon and the scaphoid bow. So in other words, we know just from the drawing that the articulation with the radius is of course the lunate and the scaphoid. The triquetral being stars up in the sky is not articulating with um, the ulna directly but rather with these um, this bit of cartilage between them. right? Um, 
a further thing to notice is also that um, people will often talk about these as rows um, because there's some functionality between um, these two rows where there's some amount of articular um, flexion of the wrist that happens right here through this area. And so in the drawing, just keep in mind that this boat kind of delineates that um, first row. So if you follow the curve of the boat, you'll have the curve of the row, right? So the first row represented by the scaphoid, the lunate, and the triquetral. So the curve of the boat suggesting that um, first row. Then I've already said that the metacarpal, the first metacarpal articulates with the trapezium. Um, and then you can see some of these articulations, it's not like, like a one-to-one -one articular um, relationship. And of course, um, you'd expect some variation between wrists. Um, but uh, knowing the trapezoid is so small, similar to the hat, you would maybe guess that the second metacarpal is um, also articulating with the capitate. And the capitate could arguably be um, articulating with all, th all three of these um, metacarpal bones. And then the hamate articulating with these, um, you know, uh, medial two metacarpals. Um, so, yeah, keep that in mind. First row, this curve of the boat, and then this, um, or the, I guess the proximal row, the curve of the boat, and then the um, distal row, everything above that. So you can see from the picture the hamate, the capitate, um, the trapezoid, and the trapezium. Another benefit of having this visual mnemonic is that if your professor or um, say some a, a patient points to this bone and they say, what is this bone called? Instead of um, running through some awkward verbal mnemonic, you can directly just say, oh, it looks like uh, the captain holding his hook up, so that's the hamate bone. You know, So it's a lot quicker and I think a lot easier to remember overall. So if this helps you guys, um, please uh, hit like, and I appreciate your time, and have a good day studying. Cheers.